Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to Algebra 1, Chapter 10, Section 6 in this book. And we've been talking about factoring. And last time, all of the ones we did had an understood 1 to go with the x squared. But you can see, today they don't. And remember what this is. It's going backwards from a polynomial to the things that you can multiply to get it called factors. Now, so first I'm going to show you how to do it in 1987 and then we'll talk about 2020. All right, so how do you do this? Step one, you write your parentheses. Step two, you list the factors of this term for a u and then you do just like how you did before you list the factors of this term for a u. So what can you multiply together to get two? It's one and two. What can you multiply together to get 5? 1 and 5. They gave us an easy one, not too many choices. So we'll try this one being 1 and that one being 2. And we'll try this one being 1 and that one being 5. Let's see if it works. Can we get 11 out of it? This is 5 and that's 2. 1 times 2 is 2. 1 times 5 is 5. Can you add or subtract 2 and 5 to get 11? No, you can't. So that means I need to change things up. So I'm going to switch it and put the 5 here and the 1 there. Now I've got 5 times 2 is 10. This is 1. Can you add 10 and 1 and get 11? Yes, you can. So now I'm going to put the, uh, I'm going to look at the signs. These are both positive, so that means this is easy and they're both positive. So those are the factors. Yay, we found it. What are the solutions? Remember that before the solution was the opposite sign. With these, it's a little more complicated um, if there's a number next to the x. With this one, it's the opposite sign. So one solution is negative 5. The other one, this is the numerator, that's the denominator, opposite sign. So it's negative 1 half. And I imagine this is on a swing, and it swings under there, and it says, yay! It just helps. It helps. All right, so those are the solutions, 5 and negative 1 half. And remember what that means. This thing's a parabola. We know that because of that squared. And where that parabola crosses the x-axis is at negative 5 and 2. Okay, so let's do this one. So the factors of 3 are 1 and 3. The factors of 7 are 1 and 7. So I'm going to try... Uh, 3x and x for my 1 and 3, and then for 7, I'm going to try 7 and 1. Let's see. We're trying to get 4. This is 3, and that's 7. Can 3 and 7 be added or subtracted to get 4? Yes, they can. So now let's look at the signs. That needs to be negative. That needs to be negative. So that being negative means one's positive and one's negative. That 7 is pretty big, and we usually go with the biggest term, so I'm going to make 7 the negative. But sometimes you just have to play around with it. Okay, and then I'm going to make this one the positive. So this is negative 7 plus 4, that's negative 4. So we got it. So the solutions are 7 and negative 1. The, uh, oh, I let that off. Pretend that didn't happen. Uh, 7 thirds, remember it swings underneath, and negative 1. Uh, opposite sign that's positive, opposite sign that's negative. Okay, what about this one? This one, the factors of 6 are 1 and 6, 2 and 3. The factors of 15 are 1 and 15, 3 and 5. If you put out all the combinations, there's 8. Back in 1987, we would just chug through all of those until we found the right answer. Y'all don't do that anymore. Now you've got your best friend, your graphing calculator. So what you can do is use your calculator many ways to start to, to know what they are using your calculator. You can do it by graphing it, seeing where, looking at it, and seeing where it crosses the x-axis, and knowing it's the opposite sign, knowing how the, that if it's a fraction, the denominator will swing over here. The numerator will be there. You can also use the quadratic equation program on your calculator I gave you. If you don't have one, you can get one. 
off of the TI website or you can bring your calculator by my house and I will plug in your calculator and give it to you. You can also um, do it on your calculator. They're under second trace. It says zeros and it will give you the answer that way too. You have to watch the calculator lab for me to show you because if I'm doing it here it's too far away from the camera. You got to watch the calculator lab where I focus it just on the calculator. You don't get to see me. You just get to see the calculator and I show you how to do it. Okay so how are we going to do these real complicated ones? We're going to cheat and start with the calculator. The other way you would do it, it's not really cheating though because they let you do it on the SAT, the ACT, and in your college classes. So um, we will start by finding the solutions and working our way back by using our calculator. Okay, let me look real quick because I want to see what the solutions are. Um, it is positive three halves and positive five thirds. Okay, so now how do I go from these solutions back here? Well, I know there's going to be X's. These are positive, so I know those are going to be negative. The 2 swings up here. The 3 goes over here. The 3 swings up here. The 5 goes there. And that was the answer. So we would have used uh, 2 times 3 to get 6 and 3 times 5 to get 15. Those are the ones. Okay, same thing with this one. It's complicated. We're not wasting the time to do it the old-fashioned way. Um, so with this one, it, it was uh, x plus 1 and, let me find it again, 3x minus 4. So the solutions here... Oh, excuse me, are the solutions would have been minus 1 and positive 4 thirds. So we could get the um, answer that way. Okay, make sure I got the right one with the right problem. Doop, doop, doop. And it says yes, and that is it. All right, so here is another one that is messy. And what you have to do first is get all the terms on the same side. So I have to do a minus 6x from both sides, and I have to do a minus 11 from both sides. And remember, you have to do it with the one that has the same letter. So we get 21x squared plus 8x minus 4. The factors of 21 are 1 and 21 and 3 and 7. 4 is 1 and 4 and 2 and 2. And But this one, that's just so messy. I'm using my calculator. And I'm getting the answer that way first, and then working off that answer to put it here. Because um, it really ends, it ends up being, uh, the solutions are negative two-thirds and two-sevenths. So let's turn those into this. So the three swings up, the sign is opposite, that's the end of it. This one, the two swings up. The sign is opposite, and that goes there. Ta -da! So we worked, we would use like our quadratic equation program that I'll give you, or the discriminating program, get the solutions, work back to the factors, and then check them. Multiply and bust it back out and make sure you got that. All right, because it's 2020. The other way to do it is you can graph it and find the zeros. Watch those labs, and I'll show you how to do it. And then it won't be terrible and frustrating the way it was in 1987. All right. Math is great. See you next time.